so we've been alluding to the fact that we have guests from Toronto for like a month now mm -hmm. and we're finally going to reveal who the guest is if you haven't guessed already. Was that good? Yeah, it was good. There she is. Hi. She's back. So I have presents for you guys. This is for you and this is for you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, beautiful box. Yes. Okay, wait, before we get into it, I think I have to ask you a couple of questions that, you know, audience is going to kill me if I don't. Okay. How have you been? How are you doing? Been How's been life? Good. And, um, shh. <laughs> Are you planning on making a YouTube comeback anytime soon? Not really, like not like a big comeback. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I'm gonna make videos, it's gonna be more casual, okay. kind of like whenever I feel like it, whenever I'm inspired. I've been really busy. I've been working on a little project. I have these bonnets that I've been making. Sorry, was I not supposed to say it? No, it's okay. <laughs> you can get into it. Okay, sorry. So wait, Should I'm not open? gonna. I'm not gonna go wait, into it. Wait, don't open yet. <laughs> We're so. I'm so <laughs> we have to build up like the the. I feel really um, shy. This project, the project is this. <laughs> if you want to say it. Okay, wait, can we start over? Yeah. Okay, I'll cut it. I'll cut some parts out. So yeah, so you've been really busy. That's why you don't make YouTube videos anymore. Well, the reason I stopped making YouTube videos was just because I was, I was busy. Like I was just working and kind of just living my life and I didn't feel like I was really in a place where I had like felt inspired to make YouTube videos. I was just kind of enjoying myself because um, I feel like I kind of turned it into a bit of a chore after a while and I was just, I was kind of over it. I was like, I just want to do it when I feel inspired mm -hmm. and I haven't felt inspired yet. But I feel like I think about it sometimes and I miss it sometimes and I feel like I will get back to it soon. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. It does take a lot of time. It is a edit. lot of work. Yeah, yeah, editing is a lot of work. Yeah, it's hard. So, but you've been good? Yes, I've been really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's been here for vacation, mm -hmm. obviously. And actually now she's going back. <laughs> yeah, today's my last day. So let's talk about your little presence, yes. which is the whole purpose of this video. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. So talk about Clary Silk. What does this mean? So I was working on this little project during the pandemic and the lockdown where I wanted to sell any product on Amazon. I took a class on how to analyze different niches, learn which products do really well and like how to choose a product. And when I was in this phase of my uh, class, Sadie had, was telling me about how she had a lot of trouble finding a really good silk bonnet. <laughs> you know, you need to stop fiddling with I was at the time um, really into silk sleeping caps or bonnets and I was looking everywhere and I couldn't find one that I liked. Like I couldn't find a silk bonnet that I found was like comfortable and I actually had to just make one out of like a little silk handkerchief that my grandmother had and uh, I, I just made one. So I made this uh, silk bonnet and that's like how it kind of got started. Yeah, so I was in this product research phase and my mom was like, Sadie is having a really hard time finding a silk bonnet. And she was like, you should consider making one because there are literally none on the market that are very comfortable, are real silk, are breathable, are soft, like all of these things. It was just impossible for Sadie to find. And one day Sadie just showed up to my house with a bunch of silk bonnets that she had bought from other brands. And she was like, I don't need these. She's like, I don't want these. They're all horrible. She's like, maybe you can use them for your research. And I was like, okay. So I grabbed all of these silk bonnets and I was kind of looking at them and I was brainstorming on how I can make it better. And a big part of like this whole process was just finding a supplier. It took me a really long time. I was going back and forth with the suppliers for months, trying to find not only the perfect supplier, but also curating the perfect product. Can I say why I was desperate to find a silk bonnet? In the first place. Yeah. Because it's hot. <laughs> yeah, I know. We have to close the windows. Yeah, it's okay. So the reason I was like desperate is because I really wanted to grow my hair. And I noticed that my hair was like stuck at like this length. And whenever it grew past that, it would get like super split ends, you know, dry, tangled, and I just I couldn't grow it past that length. Then I realized, you know when you wash your hair and it's really soft the first day and then the second day it gets like dry mm -hmm. and the third day it's so dry you have to wash it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I figured out that why that is. It's because we sleep on cotton pillowcases and cotton 
is a natural sponge. It draws moisture. That's why we use cotton towels. It draws moisture out. Mm -hmm. When you're sleeping on cotton pillowcases, it's rubbing against that cotton and it's drawing all the moisture out. So your hair becomes drier and it gets tangled. See, and that was so well spoken. I, I was trying to <laughs> deliver that. Should we open them first? I feel like we should open them at this point. Yeah. Yes. People are dying to see what these planets look like. Let me get a... Wait, baby, wait. I'm gonna get a close up. Maybe, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the box. Yeah, this is the box. Um, I love that's the box. my brand. It says 100% pure mulberry silk bonnet. Hydrating, no frizz, no sweats. These are a bunch of the pros. This is a little thank you card. And inside, we kind of expand on the sort of science behind the positives to having a silk bonnet. Let's this do like an ASMR opening moment. Oh, okay. okay. So this is gonna be ASMR. Yeah, wait, that's actually no, not okay, just, don't, no whispering. Let's just open it yeah, and like just don't talk it. over it. Yeah, do you, you want me to film? No, yeah. no, you open it. feels so nice okay, and then <laughs> I was so worried I remember when we were discussing about the product I said do not make the elastic in a way because I'm very sensitive around here and anything that constricts me here gives me headache and this is so it feels so soft when we were coming up with a design what I like is like a very loose fitting bonnet because I hate the feeling of like an elastic around my head I can't sleep with anything like that so we came up with this beautiful design where the elastic is can adjust. adjustable, mm -hmm. so you can adjust how tight or how loose you want the bonnet, mm -hmm. and then you tie it. So these ties are actually connected to the elastic that goes all around the headband. We studied all the other bonnets, there are so many on the market, Yeah. but uh, they didn't have this feature. I don't know if there is any other bonnets you know of that has this feature that, where you can actually no, adjust No, I couldn't it. find anything like that. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for this, because now I can switch this out and give it a break. It's literally been on my head for like half a year. I mean, I've been washing it every once in a while. <laughs> do you consider yourself a small business? So I do consider myself a small business owner just because it's pretty much just me running everything, but I do have like my team. So I consider my mom and Sadie a part of my team just because they have supported me throughout the whole like process and they've helped me pick the bonnets. Like it was pretty much their idea. I would have never discovered the bonnets if it hadn't been for them. And Sadie was the only person that I really was very close with that I knew who actively used a bonnet. So I definitely consider Sadie and my mom a part of my team as well as my suppliers for the packaging and the bonnets. They're definitely a part of my team as well because obviously I wouldn't have been able to do it without them. So the reason that I chose to go with Amazon is because Amazon is a great platform to scale quickly. Um, and that was kind of what I was going for, my goal. Also because I wasn't sure if I was gonna end up picking a product that actually suited my personal brand as well, which is, you know, beauty and lifestyle. And it just so happened that that was the case. I would have been fine like at the beginnings just selling anything that you know would have sold well even if it was like a random like i don't know a hammer or nails you know anything it could have been on any category but now i have my shopify store and my amazon store so if you're in the us i would recommend uh, buying through Amazon because we have prime shipping so you'll get it very very quickly that way and If you're anywhere else in the world, you can get it from my Shopify store So after we developed these bonnets beautiful bonnets, we have to do like a photo shoot for yeah. your Amazon oh, and yeah. your store. I was the photographer mm -hmm. and 
you actually hired models and stuff it yeah so, so amazing. they were models that i uh have worked with so more like friends slash models and we decided to collaborate with them i thought they both had like gorgeous looks and i just really saw them suiting my brand so i was like let's work with them and it was really fun and the makeup artist was also someone that i had gone to high school with so they were all oh, people yeah. i knew yeah oh i didn't know that yeah before i started doing online school him and i were in middle school and high school together i didn't and know so, that <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um they were all people i knew and it was just really fun and it was a great experience it was so much fun i mean i've never done anything like that before <laughs> yeah and we have a lot of behind the scenes footage so maybe you can add that to this video absolutely so here is our clary silk photo shoot hmm. for the back the top one maybe i should like like walk a little bit to the side maybe yeah that's good oh yeah that's that's it that's it <laughs> up down you think down Maybe. Let's do down. I'll do more down. You can turn a little bit your back as well. Yeah, I could side. Yeah, so we True. have four colors. Um, three of them have ivory on the inside and the outside they have their own color. And then one of them is all pink. I call the all pink one the original bonnet. Mm -hmm. um, these colors, actually Sadie convinced me to get the rose gold one. Yeah. I, I wasn't gonna originally add it to the line, but I am obsessed with it and it's also the best seller. Mm -hmm. I love the green one as well. I wear them all just because like I switch them out depending on what my mood is. Recently I've been wearing the blue one mm -hmm. a lot. Oh, I love this yeah, one. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So, can I show how I put my hair in? This one. Yeah, so I would say like people Love with it. longer hair, you can either put it in a low bun or you can do like yeah, some braids or like how cross it, it over. It has, it works. Okay, this is how I do it every single night. And here's the thing, here's the thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've been sleeping in a silk bonnet since December. Every single night, not a single night missed because I'm obsessive like that, you know, all or nothing. And look how much my hair has grown. Yeah, her hair has grown so much. It, and it's it healthy. Totally different. So, I noticed the difference. For real. Like, I haven't been able to get this length in such a long time. I haven't, and I want to start. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Absolutely. Yeah, because it doesn't get tangled at night. It's super important. So, okay, here's how I put it on. Super easy. And with this bonnet, I think I would love to tie it up in the front. So... <laughs> you can also, the strings are long enough that even with the strings at the end of your neck, you can wrap them around and then tie them at the top oh, like that. Oh, true. Like That's that. how I like because it's really wrapping your whole head. Like, I have a very small head and like I also don't want to do it too much with 
the elastic oh, so what yeah. I do is I tie it at the top and make sure it's like secure all around instead of super super tight just at the bottom I also like to keep it tucked behind my ears instead of over top because I have a piercing here and sometimes when it's really tight it does hurt so you kind of have to experiment and see which way you like it the best you will be obsessed because your hair yeah. will grow I like, I like it super loose hold on let me do I it I like mine super tight that's the thing okay so here's how I do mine okay I take all my hair just twist it. Okay, is it. Am I in the shot? Come a bit closer. To the okay. shot. And I twist it into a bun, a low bun, like that. And I take it and I tuck it in. Boom. And I also like to cover my ears with it. So see, right now I don't have mine too tight. It's kind of just right. This is how I like mine. Pretty. Yeah, and I do the little bow at the top. Like I said, it's secure all around and the bottom here is like that and I don't even put my hair in a bun like I kind of just like scoop it in of course you have curly hair if you put yeah. it in a bun you're gonna like straighten out all your curls yeah so that's why I this is how I like to wear mine oh my um, gosh I love it I love it too yeah you did such a great job thank I you I can't get over it I love the colors those are my these are my favorite there's also like two more colors there's blue and pink like you said yeah rose gold honeydew baby blue and baby pink and so pretty so the photos I feel like came out beautifully mm -hmm. and the models are absolutely gorgeous mm -hmm. you know? and um, yeah it was a lot of hard work but I think it paid off the whole yeah. thing right yeah it was a lot of hard work so hard yeah I really love that I'm able to sell on Amazon I feel like it just gives like a great opportunity for pe anyone really who wants to do private labeling um, just like a chance to be on their platform because it does really help you get a lot of customers and scale as quickly as you can because they fulfill the orders and it's really awesome. Um, I love that. Yeah, and do, where do you see the brand going? Like, Do you see it expanding, new products? Yeah, so I feel like I would definitely expand my line. I think I kind of just want to take it one step at a time though because for now I feel like I really killed it with these bonnets and I don't want to really put out any products until I know that I can kill it and I'm just gonna wait I mean I do know I can kill it but I'm gonna wait for the bonnets to kind of be out a little longer maybe I'll do a special collection for Valentine's Day since that is one of my you know favorite times of the year mm -hmm. I also think I'm gonna put out scrunchies headbands ass, oh, can you, sleeping can you, eye mask yeah eye mask can you do yes. an eye mask because I've been wearing this for also that long and oh it's and like you really like warm on the back. <laughs> yeah <laughs> And this is, is this from the dollar store? It's important for the same reason, you know? <laughs> Just to keep the eyes... Yeah, like... silk has amazing benefits for oh, the yeah. skin as well. It's a natural fiber, like the silkworms actually make it. It's, mm -hmm. like, it's like... Just it has... like cotton like comes from a flower. Yes. Silk is a natural uh -huh. substance. It has it's biodegradable. 18... Yes, it's yeah. biodegradable. It's good for the environment. It has 18 amino acids, like the compound in it. It's very very good for your skin and your hair has so many benefits pretty much any hair type can wear a silk bonnet but it can also be used if you wear wigs or weaves or extensions if you get a fresh blowout and you want it to last you can wear the silk bonnet while sleeping you know it keeps your curls looking fresh for a very long time um, the silk itself is just anti-static so that's a big reason why it makes for like really like no frizz and like nice soft hair no breakage i do write a lot of the benefits in my website which will probably be linked below if you guys want to learn more about how it works exactly with silk cool okay let's, let's <laughs> put them back on <laughs> oh back they on are cute. okay that's cute okay beautiful yeah <laughs> love it we could be the models <laughs> yes i was just thinking that i was like they look so good so yeah, um, thank you for coming on our channel and thank sharing you your me. beautiful products. If you would like to get yourself a Clary silk, silk bonnet and support Artemisia in her business endeavors, I'll put all the links in the description and you can use this code for 20% off your purchase. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, all the contact information will be down below. I would be more than happy to answer any questions anyone has about this in my emails. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in our next one. Bye bye. Bye. And we can also get like a still shot from that. Wait, from mm -hmm. the camera. No.
Okay, go. Okay, that's good. <laughs>